Dr. Pachori of Terry, Nobel Prize winner. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Sunita Narayan, director of the Center for Science and Environment. Thank you very much. You've written a cover story on this issue, in fact. And Professor Katie Ravindran, Dean at the School of Planning and Architecture. Thank you, sir, very much for joining. This is one of your uh, passionate topics, I believe, the beaches of India. Uh, we also have from all across the country joining us are people who are fighting everyday battles to protect the beach in their area and spread the message to the government and across the country, as well as experts and ministers who have the power to stop the murder and rape of Indian beaches. We'll be going across to four hot spots, the beach spots of India, to Sampad Mahapatra at Puri, to T.S. Sudhir at Vishakhapatnam, to Sanjay Pinto at Puducherry, and Tejas Mehta at Goa, and Gargi Rawat to explain what really is at stake. So just what is at stake? Gargi Rawat, NDTV's intrepid environmental reporter, joins us. Gargi, now tell us how exactly does a beach or a mangrove actually benefit uh, the country? Thanks, Dr. Roy. Now, the benefits of beaches are many, but what we really need to understand is that our beaches are a dynamic ecosystem. There's constant movement. Anyone who's been on a beach would know this. Sand is being washed up by the waves, washed away by the waves, blown around by the wind. And all this activity, there's a purpose behind it. It keeps regenerating the beach. And the reason that we need our beaches and the reason that they are so important is that they prevent our coastline from getting eroded. They prevent the waves from hitting the land and eroding it. Uh, they, also they also buffer us against storms, against cyclones, the mangrove forests. In fact, uh, in 1999, when the super cyclone hit Orissa, the only area that wasn't devastated was the Bhitakonika Reserve and other areas that had mangroves. So there's a clear example of the mangrove forest actually protecting uh, the inland areas. Now another reason that the beaches are so important is that they filter the seawater. They prevent the salt water from reaching the inland areas. In places where beaches have disappeared, the land has become saline and that has had a direct impact on agriculture. And finally, of course, uh, beaches support the fishermen, the local communities. They help the economy as they're a, an attractive tourist destination. But any construction on the beach, anything that obstructs the natural movement of the sand, like a port, a resort, a road, or even a wall, can actually kill the beach. The sand uh, on the north of the construction disappears, and it all piles up towards the south. Now, India has an 8,000-kilometer-long coastline. It has 12 major ports, and it has 187 minor ports. And uh, as we'll see in the program, uh, our reporters joining us from all those hotspots, each state is proposing more ports. And at this point, Dr. Roy, we really need to limit the man-made damage that we're doing to our coastline, because as Dr. Pachori and Sunita can probably elaborate on, the threat from climate change to our coastline is immense. In the future, we are going to see a rise in sea levels and um, with increased temperatures, we're going to see more storms, more cyclones, and we need our beaches, we need our mangroves to buffer us against them. Okay, first let's go across to Puducherry, where there's a group of people who've seen the damage with their own eyes and are fighting to protect their beach. Now let's go across to Sanjay Pintu in Puducherry. Sanjay, where you're standing right now, is it sand or rock? Was it sand? What's the situation where you are? 